we'll talk about a Moseley's law. The Moseley's law states that the frequency of the spectral line in the characteristic X-ray is directly proportional to the square of the atomic number of the element. This is known as Moseley law. The frequency of the spectral line is directly proportional to the atomic number, the square of the atomic number. So mu v is equal to a into z minus b. Well, a and b are constants and it depends upon the particular spectral line. This is referred to as a Moseley's law. Any discrepancy in the order of the elements in the periodic table can be removed by Moseley's law. By arranging the elements according to the atomic number and not according to the atomic weight. Moseley's law has led to the discovery of some of the new elements like Afnium, Technetium and Rhenium. So, X-rays are also used for many purposes, particularly it's used in the medical application for the diagnosis of TB, tuberculosis, stones in kidney, gallbladder, etc. Many types of skin diseases, malignant sores, cancers and tumors have been cured by controlled ex exposure of X-rays of suitable quality. Hard X-rays are used to destroy tumors very deep into the body. Talking about the industrial applications, X-rays are used to detect the defects of flaws within a material. X-rays can be used for testing the homogeneity of welded joints and insulating materials. I am trying to show how the welding is happening. Further moving, X-rays are used to analyze the structure of alloys and other composite bodies. You can see the structure of alloys to one structure, further zooming, further zooming. X-rays are used to study the structure of materials like rubber, cellulose and plastic fibers. Further moving towards the scientific research applications, X-rays are used for studying the structure of crystalline solids and alloys. X-rays can be used for analyzing the structure of complex molecules by examining their X-ray diffraction patterns. 